Hi there, my name is Matchstick and today I've got a pretty cool concept to show you. It is obviously in Space Engineers and let's get straight to it. So, if we look over here, we got two beautiful missiles. This one is the Concrete Breach Missile. It has uh, three gravity generators, a merge block on top, a battery in the middle here and six artificial mass blocks as two of these uh, O stretched O shaped like um, blast ore things on the sides and uh, the point of this is to really hit the ship with all its force this thing gets up to speed really quickly and it just performs really well and it's rather cheap for space engineer standards but if you want one even cheaper which can be fired from a very very small silo I got this little beauty over here which is the slim version which just consists of five blast door blocks three artificial mass a battery a merge block and a gravity generator over here we got 600 meters away that beautiful well not beautiful that ugly ass ship over there that I built like ages ago it's mostly heavy armor actually it's just heavy armor and um, yeah let's see what damage we can do but first of all I'm gonna turn off the artificial mass on one of these mass turn off let me just copy that bunch of times Oh no, it's it's drifting. Can't be drifting around. Let's just paste a bunch of these here. These will come in handy later. And let's copy this one as well. And now let's just go ahead in this real quick and turn it off as well. Where's the control panel? There's a control panel. Um, turn these mass blocks I don't have these grouped for some reason just turn those off real quick and so the other ones don't get uh, pulled along while this is going uh, let me access it please okay uh, and turn it on let's see what damage it does uh, this direction oh Christ it's lagging <laughs> it's lagging ripped a hole straight through the engine bay into the reactor bay and it took out all four of the large reactors this thing is completely unpowered now well it has one very small backup reactor somewhere in there there but the four main ones completely destroyed this ship would not be functional anymore and that was one missile and it's pretty cheap and there's still some parts floating around there so yeah that was the big one I haven't actually tested out the slim ones yet this is my first time seeing them as well I just build them um, mass turn on gravity generator turn on as well now let's see what damage this thing does it penetrated right through the whole thing. It, it actually hit the the floor itself and penetrated right through the floor all the way to the other side. That is amazing. And even destroyed one of the thrusters. I didn't even think that missile could do this. I'm really impressed. This is the first time of me seeing these as well. As I said, I just built them. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into here. Turn on the mass. You will see why in a second. Just turn on mass on all of these. Mass turn on. And the last one, mass turn on. And um, gravity generator turn on as well. So if you launch these in a bulk, you can launch all of them just by having one gravity generator. And most of them didn't even hit. This thing mostly hit the engine uh no not the engine bay the hangar bay it just ripped a hole right through the thing <laughs> so let's just launch the last one we have right here 
and I will sum up the video. <laughs> Just a small little demonstration. Alright, gotta turn on the mass as well. And here it comes. You could stop these a bit if you have a gravity shield, but most of ships nowadays don't even have a gravity shield. I've never even seen one. And um they could be slowed down a bit and reduced in damage, but there's nothing really you can do about these because they're going at full speed just straight into the target. I'm just cleaning it up here a bit. Yeah, just ripped a giant hole in here. Don't don't question about the about the components in here. It's just it's an old ship. Okay, don't judge. Well, as you can see, that thing did a hell of a lot of damage, and yeah, it's just devastating overall. Just really destructive and pretty cheap to manufacture. The thing is only you cannot steer them when they're gone. You gotta launch them like an inertia launcher, I guess. But if you get that one going, just basically a really fast vehicle and some landing gear strapped to it should be good to go and it's you saw what those few missiles did to this thing and it is this whole ev heavy armor jeez I can't fucking speak um yeah overall annihilated I would say well that was alpha breach no, concrete bridge missile. Alpha bridge missile was a different one. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one and have a good one.